heavyweight legend George Foreman, less than 10 fights into his unlikely comeback, met a fellow future Hall of Famer and white Muhammad Kawa in Las Vegas in March of 1988, and an odd, quite curious fight went down. Dwight Muhammad Kawi George Foreman. There's an overhand right by Kawi. He saw the Guido kind of toying with Braxton. Good boy. You know, you mentioned no body to his. <laughs> Holding his hand up to keep Foreman at bay, George. But he's landing. There's the right. But they have him doing it, just throwing Foreman all off. He just got to let his punches go. And it's taking its toll, I would think. Well, he's standing in there with him. Well, that one hurt, probably. He's hurt now. Good left hook by Kwawi. And another good left hook. And Kwawi is talking. Right hand by Kwawi. Boy, it was very tough to see what that was. Spot for him in that corner. Lance some right. Right hand by George. Guy like an Evander Holyfield. He has ability. Oh, yes. Kwawi is really very tired now. He's letting it all hang out. I'm waiting for Kwawi. There it is. I was waiting for Kwawi to come up with that sneak left hook count. All night out, but your body doesn't move. He's landing in this round, no question about that. He's having a good decision written all over it. Right hand by Foreman, and that uppercut hurt. Cut. There's 22 seconds left in round six, and that left hook did hurt him by Foreman. Eventually, in round seven, a tired and dispirited Kawi turned his back and quit. Foreman was now 8 and 0 in his comeback, yet nowhere closer to being accepted as a genuine contender or even as a genuine heavyweight fighter.